High Rocks versus DecaFit, <laughs> the ultimate showdown in hybrid fitness racing. Over the past couple years, both of these amazing, awesome run companies and amazing people who I've had a chance to connect with have come head to head, most importantly, given us all an opportunity to jump into other adventures in this beautiful thing we call fitness. So if you're interested in choosing between a High Rocks and DecaFit, let me just share with you some differences that I've seen, that I've experienced, now having done a ton of them, and uh, what I think you should look for and maybe which one you should go with based off of your preference, based off your skill set, and based off of where you are in your journey. Let's just jump right into the ultimate heavyweight fight, DecaFit versus High Rocks. Okay, so right off the bat, let's just get the obvious out of the way. High Rocks is a longer race. It's eight, it's 8,000 meters of running. DecaFit is a 5K. So if you're like, well, I wanna do the shortest race possible, DecaFit not only is shorter, but it has two other versions which are even shorter than its main version. It has Deca Mile, which is just one mile of running, and then Deca Strong, which is no running. So if you hate running, Deca Strong is your easy choice. But High Rocks is a longer event. That being said, there's also more time between stations. So let's talk about that and what you should consider when looking looking at the running and the time between stations in these two events. Now having done a handful of High Rocks, I think I've done six High Rocks events. I have also done three Deca fits and a ton of Deca miles, I think like 10, and then like six Deca strongs. There's some pros and cons to both, all right? Because in High Rocks, you do a station, which is brutal, and then you go for a longer run. So personally, I've started to enjoy those longer runs because I can actually recover a little bit. Now, you need to be better at running for this to actually happen. You need to train running as a skill, acquire more of an engine, get better at speed work, power, all that stuff, get your tissue where it needs to be, but I've started to appreciate those 1,000 meter runs. Versus DECA, where you go into a DECA station, some of the stations arguably could be easier than some of the high rock stations. Won't say that it's easy, because it's not easy, but you do a DECA fit station, then you only get 500 meters, and then you're back into another station. So in my opinion, it's a little bit faster pace, less recovery ability on the runs, but if you enjoy just a higher intensity, faster pace, more of a sprint, don't want to run as much, you probably want to go with DECA. If you're like, hey, running is something I want to get better at and I enjoy some recovery time between stations, High Rocks is probably your better bet. But honestly, doing both is always a good idea, especially if you're just flat out good at running, you'll excel in both of them. But if you're not good at running like I wasn't when I started, uh, and I'm still not the world's greatest runner, both of these will challenge you in different ways. So if you're just going to pick one, go based off of what you prefer. Longer run, more recovery, shorter recovery, but shorter race and less running. Captain Obvious is back. <laughs> And we're gonna talk about a very simple difference between the two that may or may not influence your decision. But the stations, the stations are completely different. DecaFit has arguably the world's worst exercise on planet Earth. Shout out to the demonic person who made this Airdyne bike. And now a rogue bike, which is even harder than the original Airdyne. This exercise bike will murder you. And it is in DecaFit. It is station, I think it's station seven. Let's see, we got the skier get five, six is, is the farmer's carry. Yes, it's station seven. I've done enough to where, yes, I remember. Seven actually is my lucky number, but it is number seven in DecaFit and it is the worst. But High Rocks also has some extremely brutal stations like the sled pull, sled push, and then you not only knock those two out, but then you go into burpee broad jumps fourth after doing sled push, sled pull. And if you're doing the pro weight in High Rocks, God, and may the Lord have mercy on your soul or whatever they say, <laughs> because it is just absolutely horrific. But that can fit is pretty tough too. Here's what I'll say. After now having done a ton of each, I think High Rocks favors someone who has a little bit more longer duration ability with some of these stations. Meaning, if you can practice lunges for longer periods of time versus someone DecaFit who prefers more of a sprint approach, because DecaFit has lunges too, reverse lunges with a nice heavy ram on your shoulder, which doesn't feel great, but it feels good to be done and you'll never regret doing it. It's an awesome feeling, but it's a faster station. I think I knock out 30 reverse lunges in like basically under a minute. It's like 45 seconds and I'm out, maybe even less than that. But the 
the lunges at high rocks, for example, is like 80 to 100 meters, I believe, with 40 to 60 pound sandbag over your shoulders. And it takes a couple minutes to get through, right? So high rocks really just favors the person who's like, hey, I can go steady for longer periods of time with these stations versus an athlete in deca fit who's like, I'm just gonna bang this out quick and then get to the next one, okay? And it's, you're in and out in under a minute. So it will come down to what you prefer. In terms of safety, I would say safety wise, if you're like someone who's like, hey, I just wanna try this and I don't feel that prepared, but I want to give it my go, my best or whatever. I would say Degafit probably favors the beginner a little bit more, just to be honest. I think besides maybe the box step over, which does require some flexibility and mobility that you may not have yet, most importantly, the skill you may not have yet of doing the box step over. Besides that one, I mean, there's really no dangerous station. With high rocks, you have the sled pull, which could be massively taxing on your back and your biceps and your legs. You have the burpee broad jump. You do have burpees in Degafit, just to be fair, but it's not a broad jump. It's just a weighted burpee with a, with a ram. Still brutal. So you can see there's just a ton of similarities here. I think when it really comes down to the details, you're looking at Decafit, which is just a shorter race with potentially a little bit more safety for a beginner, or high rocks, which favors a, a person who can handle longer duration, uh, more steady intensity over a longer period of time. Both are great. It just kind of depends on which one you prefer. And uh, station-wise, I, I think Decafit might be a little easier. If I had a gun to my head and someone said, which one's easier, I'd say Decafit's probably a little easier. But then again, the intensity is a little higher. So just kind of comes down to your preference. But uh, yeah, that's the stations. Let's talk about a couple other differences and we'll wrap this up. All right, so this is likely to change or maybe it won't change, I don't know. But I just want to be fair with this video because I have friends on both sides. In fact, I'm really good friends with Yancey, one of the founders of Decafit. He's just an amazing human. Really helped fix my running form a, couple, a few years ago and just a great person. I also have friends on the High Rock side who are just amazing. My wife actually went to grade school with one of the founders of High Rocks over at Hamburg Journey. Crazy story, which one we'll, maybe we'll tell at some point. But um, yeah, it's just like, we, we have some great people on both sides. And I don't think there's a need to have this divide. Not that there is one. I think athletes partake in both. But if I had to go with Decafit, why would I choose Decafit as my race of choice if I could only do one forever? Currently, I'll tell you why I would choose Decafit. I would choose Decafit because they have more opportunity to race. So you have your main Decafit events, which are all over the country where, you know, these are the longer events events take you about 30, 35 minutes, maybe longer if it's your first time. But then you have all these satellite events. You have Deca Strongs, you have Deca Miles at these local gyms that you can jump into on a weekend. We've had our True Transformation clients uh, come out and do them with us. We just had one this past weekend where we had over 10 clients come out and race with us. And this is an amazing thing. High Rocks doesn't currently have this. And if they do, I don't know about it, right? And they're not promoting it that much. So it would be cool if High Rocks had like a beginner like level High Rocks that they could roll out at local gyms to get people prepared for the main High Rocks. That's kind of the purpose, I believe, behind the Mile and the Strong. Now, of course, the Mile and the Strong are also competitive. You can actually qualify for world championships at all these events. Plus, Degafit is now allowed partners to do these events, right? So you can do a co-ed partners, you can do a two-man team or a two-woman team. High Rocks, to be fair, they do have the doubles. The doubles competition is flat out awesome. And we'll talk about why I would choose High Rocks next. But if I were choosing Decafit and could only choose one, that is why I would go with Decafit. There's just more opportunities to do it. Let's talk about why I choose High Rocks. So if I were forced to choose one and I said, okay, here's why I would choose High Rocks, this, is, this would be my answer. First of all, it's a longer race. So I know it's going to sound funny, but I feel like I get more of my money's worth at High Rocks, right? So I've yet to do a High Rocks under an hour. My best time is at my last doubles High Rocks where we did an hour and four minutes. So we just barely finished over an hour. But, and I know I'm going to finish under an hour, both individually and with a team in the very near future, but it's an hour event. And not to mention, it feels like almost a, a music festival. <laughs> like the atmosphere is crazy. The music is off the charts. And I'm not saying that if it doesn't support their team and have a ton of amazing people there cheering you on. But High Rocks, you feel like you're in an actual sporting event. You're almost like at a soccer game and your fans are like right next to you cheering you on because I don't know about you guys, but if you've done High Rocks and I'm running around and people are cheering and they're screaming, I pretend it's all for me, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't care if you're cheering for me or not. I pretend it's for me. There's people ringing bells and they got the signs and I'm like, yeah, they're here for me, dude. And that gets me fired up. I'll never forget, uh, I went to the Chicago Marathon years ago. 
know, I didn't do the marathon, but I was in the I was in the crowd and I was going to different spots around the city and people running by and I'm cheering them on like, yeah, you're killing it, you're doing awesome. And that environment was like uh, incredible. And I said, man, it would be so cool if you could work out and have this environment around you. And that's what High Rocks gives you. High Rocks is my choice if I'm going for duration and I'm going for environment. Um, they just do such an incredible job of bringing people together and making it an actual experience. It feels like you're doing it in an arena and it's just an awesome thing. I'll also say this about High Rocks. It's international, right? DecaFit is getting international. Like I think recently as of this video, and I'm sure by the time you watch this, if you're watching this years and years from now, it'll be everywhere. But DecaFit is expanding too. I think they just expanded to Mexico heavily and they're moving all over the world. So that's awesome. High Rocks originated in Germany and so it's in all these different countries and if you're a traveler like me it gets you excited because you're like oh I could go travel to Spain and I could do a high rocks I could go travel to Germany and do a high rocks where my wife grew up that's just cool right and it brings people all over the world together and I think high rocks better than anybody else is bringing people together right now and that's such an important part of our value system at true transformation so if I had to choose high rocks that's why I think the environment is way better than deck of it right now but this is all subject to change so please don't anyone get mad at me like if you guys are out there like, you're a traitor. Oh, I thought we were friends. I thought DecaFit was the best. I thought High Rocks was the best. Like, this is just my opinion. And, uh, you know, opinions are just like, you know what? We all have them and they all stink. <laughs> all right, so let's wrap this video up talking about what I think you should do next in terms of High Rocks versus DecaFit. Okay, so which one should you do first? Should you do them? Should you not do it? High Rocks, DecaFit, oh my gosh, what do you do? Well, spoiler alert, you should do both. Okay, um, I think they both complement each other so darn well. I mean, what a blessing it is to have two heavyweight titans of fitness challenges out there that we can just jump into. And we haven't even talked about Spartan. And there's other events out there that are coming on that are gonna be just as awesome as these two. But these are our two heavyweights right now. And they give you a perfect partnership to look at your calendar throughout the year and find events near you, most importantly, that you can jump into. My best advice is go jump into a local deck of fit, all right? Find a local gym, go do a deck of mile, go do a deck of strong, and then start to expand regionally and say, well, what are the big events for High Rocks? What are the big events for DecaFit in my area. Put a couple on your calendar. You'll have a whole year of fun, fitness, challenges, and adventures to partake in using both of these darn things. And honestly, use DecaFit as a segue into the longer event, which is High Rocks. And then the longer event gets you even better at the shorter event. These athletes that you see winning all these events, a lot of them are the same people, right? You have your champions in both sports, right? But you also have some guys who are doing both and killing it in both. One of them is my friend Ryan Kent. Like that guy's a savage at High Rocks. He's a savage at DecaFit. You have David Megida, these guys are, that's a local guy to where I am, who is doing both and killing it in both, right? So perfect examples of just people who do both, Meg Jacoby, Lauren Weeks, like these people are excelling in both and they're not just sticking to one or the other. So don't shortchange yourself, do both of them. They're both awesome. You'll get good and bad from both, learning experiences from both. So the answer is just do both, they're awesome. And uh, over time, you'll have your favorites, you'll have your least favorites, but most importantly, you'll use fitness to improve all parts of your life, which is a great time to wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know, have you done a DecaFit or a High Rocks? Which one's your favorite? Let me know why in the comments. Let me know what else you'd like to learn about these hybrid fitness races and how I can potentially help you, even if it's just giving you a high five when I see you at the course or talking to you for two minutes when I see you at a local DecaFit or High Rocks. Please come up to me, say what's up. I've had so many of you do that, but let's continue to expand. Let's spread this amazing tool that is fitness worldwide. If you're someone who needs to lose weight, you're a parent, you're a professional, you're like, dude, I'm sick and tired, I'm feeling sick and tired, I don't like how I look, I'm gonna go run one of these, but I don't like how I look, I'm a little self-conscious, I need to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, that's where I can totally help you. Check out our 3M system, it is in the description of this video. Go apply for a call, I promise you, on the call, we'll give you your starting calories, your starting workout plan, free of charge. If you wanna work with us after that, cool. If not, at least you got something valuable out of it and we have a new friendship that we can expand on. So, life moves fast, make it count. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.